serio. How do you know they'll not be sitting there waiting for us? If you want half the valley, we're going to blow the dam. How can you trust those people? They're my people. The supplies for the base. Let them pass, then we'll attack. so the convoy will be ahead of time. We'll have to bring the attack forward. I'll warn the others to watch for your signal. Mm. I'll take a look around again. Many of them. I've already informed HQ. They're sending a helicopter gunship. Engineer, we've been attacked. Um, you go with the other technicians. Hello, control room.
Come on. Jose will show you where to set the charges. I think the best place for the dynamite is down there. Heads up! Place the charges down there. On the girders. It'll take years to build a dam like this. You got a better idea? At least he's not telling you how many innocent people are going to die downstream. It's always hard the first time, but you have to commit yourself. <laughs> like him? Yeah, like him, and it's not easy. I sure wouldn't like to be in his shoes. Is that going to hold? That structure looks too strong. A fifth chief, we've got it under control. Hey, Jaime, place it at the support point at the extreme end of the girder.
Look at the guns! With guns? Soldiers? No, the ones from the revolution. I saw them coming down the hill, Papa. Keep calm. Come to see how things are this side of the mountain. Just want some food, water, rest, then we'll go. What little we have is over there. Uh, what a wonderful welcome, son. Come on with the stretchers! <laughs> you persuaded me to fight for these people. How come they treat us like this when we've got half the army on our eyes? Look at your precious campesinos. Do you think they think of us as any different from the soldiers? The way you're behaving certainly won't put matters right. I can't take any more. Yes, you can, Fuzzy. You're doing all this wrong. Tell me what the good it's Over there! Over there! Put him over there! Ranger. Walking all the railroads. Turn it around. What about the crops? You know how to build dams. The captain knows how to fight a war, and believe me, he knows. Don't tell me it's... it's a... it's a... But if you go up to Samoan, they have a big hospital there. They do operations also. You are on your toes, eh, young man? You know, Maria, you think maybe I could join you all? I mean, I've been training. Me and Alario play war all the time. Yeah, but doing it for real is a little less fun. Do like he says, Maria. Take the wounded to San Juan. A few of the men can go with you. Give you Jaime, Petulio, and a few of the other men I can speak. But I don't want Look, I can't let the wounded slow me down. Now you know that you're the only one that can help them. Okay. this land of yours, don't you, Chief? Si, senor. Um, they know that we're fighting for them, too, don't they? Si, senor. Then why are they staring at me? Uh, they are not looking at you, senor. That's their supper. I got their wavelength, and you were right. They're moving north. Must be a big operation. And Silvera and his militia. Get them ready. Get ready! We're moving out. We have to go! Sorry, we've no chance. up with Emiliano. If I don't go on, 
the dam will have been a total waste. Let's go, Smithy. Escape. You were here. You got away. So many escaped from this valley. Let's go. A little bit on this side, please. How do you explain it? The Paris is filled up with your militiamen. Are they here to protect me? Or to keep me prisoner. Because these things came under my very nose without anybody seeing anything. It's stupid propaganda. Yes, but the country is filled with it. Read it. Read it. Why you don't ask your generals? Benitez has been waiting for an hour. All right, send him in. The real enemy is Carrasco. Carrasco's father. One of the richest men in the country. He came back from Europe, gave everything up to fight for the people. Now he's become a legend. Mr. President. Yes, General. What's today's setback? Another dam? I have an urgent request from General Gomez. Now, what does he want? All right, I'm through with you. You can get out. Gomez says he can uh, crush the rebels in the north in two weeks. But he needs fuel to maintain his air superiority and to keep his army running. Now, I have built a pontoon bridge over here. And I've reinforced the garrison down there to keep the Marbella... Yes. ...refinery. The key is to keep this lifeline open. Yes. Yes, it always sounds good. But our allies are sending no more aid till we show we can reverse the situation. Now, what is this request? We need reinforcements. Gomez agrees. My men are spread too thin. Carrasco's building... Carrasco's a rabbit. Carrasco has a fine military brain. He has got our back to the wall. He's careful, clever, and he could very well deliver a death blow to us. Mr. President, I have Gomez's backing on this. I need the militia. My men are too busy. Doing what? My men are too busy cleaning up your messes. Oh. Enough! Save your arguments for somewhere else. I'll think about it, General. All right, you can go. Mr. President. It's like all the others. They want your place. Can you get rid of him, Norman? You too, my friend. Calling you. Is everything all right? Did you check them out? The crew, all of them. What's this? 
What does Carrasco have to do with it? He destroyed the village. Well, let's hope the country buys it. It's not much considering you were going to bring me his head. Yes, I am, Father. These people are bandits, killers, mercenaries. You get out, James, while you can. I have nothing to fear. That's what you think. These people have no God, no conscience. They'll come here to infect this place. Then the government will have to come to burn them out. But you're a doctor. You have responsibilities. You can't just abandon the hospital. Father Michaels, we have no power, no lights. We've been cut off from the rest of the country. You can stay here, play hero if you want. Me? I'm playing it safe. Doctor. An urgent house call, you coward. Not even the dogs are staying on. Ah, but not me, father. I'll stick to you through hell and brimstone. Bless you, Concepcion. And God bless you for those too. I hope so, father. I was a terrible sinner when I was young and rich. Help us in our hour of need. I have a lot of people outside. We need beds, antibiotics, and surgical instruments. Yes, certainly. But so many. We only have two free beds and the Only doctors. two? Not here. Free beds? Hi, me. Hey, stop it! Oh, oh. Please, leave Go on, Otto. Get out of my way! Oh. Careful, I can't be your guardian angel forever. It's not up to me to pass judgment. 
As far as I'm concerned, you're all alike. What do you mean, alike? Victims and butchers? He needs immediate surgery. Do you have an operating room? Yes, over there. Why? Are you a doctor? I was a med student. already been able to get the connection to the north going again. Benita certainly knows his job. He's got a pontoon built in record time to allow the tankers through. They're lifting a truck. Take a look. I was carrying explosives. There's more explosives underwater. That will do us nicely, Chief. So what are we waiting for? I'm for the government, for President Hormoza. I've come to warn you. I know where Carrasco's gang is. You come with me. You get on the radio.
Just like the games we played when you were a boy. It's just one difference. Everyone used to go home after the game. Smithy. He didn't make it. He wasn't a good friend anyway. <laughs> Look, if your father were here to see that... Probably shoot me. Eh, all his life he looked at it the wrong way. Rich before the poor. That's how you were brought up. It wasn't his fault. But I tried to correct that with you. Go down and relieve Gutulio. I've got your grease gun. You deserve it. Don't worry, it's not the wine for the mass. Thank you. <laughs> Strong, eh? Campesinos make it on the sly. I didn't know priests drank that kind of stuff. They do worse things, some of them. I wish it would all end. May I ask how? I'd give I don't know what to see this dictatorship end. But I wish it could happen without all this bloodshed. <laughs> Why don't you ask the president to hold real elections, huh? <laughs> Get some sleep, Gatul. Who's going to stand guard here? Me. Okay, good night, Father. Hey, you know, you're going to end up converting all my men. Oh, you overestimate me. No. No, wait. It's not that I admire you, but I envy you. To have your kind of faith, you have to be innocent. Why? Have you no convictions? Mine are different. Like the revolution, for instance. Oh, it's not all that important what we believe. What's important is that we're talking to each other. People who need us couldn't care less if we're priests or guerrillas. How about that? I was at Fuenteneva, too. Well, it was a lot different in my day. I only took one semester after seven. Baba, you too. The old man is hemorrhaging. He's in a bad way, father. What shall Looks we like do? he needs a transfusion. Yeah. Do we have some more blood? I'm not sure, Father. Please go and look.
No, not the guns. This is a holy place, the house of God. We have read the posters. We know who sacked This is a God. holy place, the house of God. The house of God. Haven't you read the posters? Do now what God says. Where are the rebels? Do you really promise not to hurt anyone? Yes. How many are there? Where are the guards? Attention, you in the hospital! This is the 22nd anti-guerrilla battalion! You are surrounded! Come out with your hands on your head! In exactly 30 seconds, I'll burn the building! You've got to make the decision. Give me a grenade. You, come with me. The rest of you try that way. Maybe it's still clear. Come on. Jose, tell them you're a civilian. Then you'll be safe. Just say you were a hostage. Don't you worry about me. Hmm. Hurry here. Stay here. You haven't got a chance. I can't. I have to fight for my beliefs. No! Go! Captured, eh? Unfortunately, yes, Colonel, but I don't know what... Don't tie yourself by talking.
operation from the hydroelectric plant. I understand you were a technician at the dam. Then you must know who was in charge. Okay. Find them yourself, you son of a bitch. Sylvia's men burnt the hospital. Magazine! Get around them! Back, take the other side. Where is Father Michael? Conception. I asked you what you intend to do with these people. If the troops come back, they'll all be massacred. I can give them trucks to get away. That's all. Okay, I'll take them. Where to, Father? The Promised Land? Not even if you win. There may not even be room for priests, then.
this way. That's him. Open it. Chances are good. We can get Smithy and the others out this week. Oh. They're militia men. A drink? Since it's important enough for you to come here personally, I think it's worth the price. I didn't think any of Silviera's men had a price. Oh. It is good, senor? Yeah. Believe me, we paid him enough. There will be no problem. We're fixing a room for them to stay. Anyway, once they're free, we'll send them out to the abandoned monastery. We'll be waiting. Hey, man! <laughs> Smithy himself, the famous mercenary Carrasco brought back from Europe. Hey, welcome to the Severa Plaza. You look a really bad shape, man. Come and sit down. Uh, this is John. Uh, that's Alfonso. He wanted to write the truth. Uh, Joachim, dumb enough to, to talk about it. Sit down. What are you, room service? Come on, man. You're getting good treatment here. And a week in the palace? Anyway, it's all free. All free of charge. It's a great honor to meet Carrasco's retinue. man. If it wasn't for you guys, they really mucked it up in the north. By the way, this is Hidalgo. He was the political officer up there. They sent me down here to contact the Central Committee. Some bastard ratted. Anyway, you, uh, you didn't tell him where to find Carrasco, did you? Thanks. Silvera and I... I find them a difficult man to talk to. They're just waiting for you to get better, so they can start again. Look out! Right. Get back in your bunks. Compliments to the chef. You shut up! You pig! You bastard! That's enough! We're late, come on! Come on, let's you go! 
What are you looking at? Come on now. No, he's a son of a bitch. He's picking up some cash on the side. What's he say? Well, they're getting us out of here tomorrow night. Well, thanks to you, if we make it. You see, we ain't worth shit. But he is. Carrasco's right-hand man. No, my friend, they're just afraid I could talk. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I? Thought about it? This isn't my country. The way things are, I don't even know I'll get paid. Oh, well, only kidding. Better start unloading if you want to eat today. <laughs> Evil and the Holy Ghost. What did you find out? Full of troops. We'll never get through. What if they find us here? This is the second time that you've risked your life for us. Don't worry about it. The war? The guerrillas are still at it, hit and run. Now the bridge is gone, they're flying the fuel north by helicopter. Oh. You can give this back. I didn't need it all. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hmm. You look much better today. Go down the cantina. They're escaping! Raise the alarm! Where's the chief? He didn't risk it. The city's full of militia. Ah. Right, this is Smithy. So, oh. don't worry. We'll get you out. In two days' time, you'll be in Carrasco's territory. You better go with him. It's very hard to get up north. Yeah, north, south, east, what the hell? As long as we kill some pigs, let's go. Tell Carrasco, Homos is planning to have a fact-finding tour of the province. Wait. Thursday. Hmm. He'll bring his army with him then. 
No, he's taking a plane incognito. So nobody knows he's actually there. Do you think Carrasco... Only I'll tell him. Okay, let's get moving. Right. Okay. Bye, my friend. Right well of us. Thanks. Goodbye. In there. Shit, that's what it is. Move. Come on. Get down there. That a boy. What's worrying you? <laughs> Will there ever be a day when we can think of ourselves a little? Sure, we'll even have time to get bored like ordinary people. <laughs> I mean, it's history's full of revolutionaries who end up teaching school. Hmm. I can just see us cuddling on a sofa and watching TV. You never know. Human beings are capable of the most terrible transformations. Oh. Who are you talking about? You or me? Maria, our lives may be too short to lose our sense of living. Hmm. Captain! He's back! They're coming! They're coming! Smith. Smithy! Oh. Got yourself a new army. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you yet? He's been waiting for you for almost two days. Hey! Hey, Smithy! <laughs> Maria, you kept me alive. You're such a liar. I knew you'd pop up again. <laughs> oh, it's the truth. I was about to leave this dreary old world, and I said to myself, no, not before I patted Maria's arse once more. <laughs> I'm glad I stayed because it's a lovely arse, Maria. When are you going to leave this schmuck and come up with me? Your life is too quiet for me. <laughs> this is Hidalgo, from the brigade in the north. Hi. Hi this is Joachim. He's in the city Hi. running explosives. They're both good men. Hi. Honored to fight under your command, senior captain. You're hired. Get some food into him. Yeah, come on. Now then, tell me what happened. What happened is not important. It's what could happen that's important. I've heard that Hamozo is taking a trip with a group of industrialists. Could be the opportunity we've been waiting for. That's all you know about the airport? Yes. Well, one thing's clear, with security like that, we won't get close enough to single out Hermosa. You're not thinking of shooting down a plane, are you? What other choice have we got? But it would be a massacre. Our cause can't justify that kind of thing. We can't let ourselves be that cold-blooded. If this works, we win the war. Yes, but it's not right. Maria! In any other situation, this would be a political crime, I agree. But in this case, it could bring on the collapse of their regime and ultimate victory for us. Yes. But what if it's a trap, huh? Yeah, I've thought of that. Only four of us will go. Smithy, myself, and these two. They know the layout. We rendezvous just before we go into action. Any questions? Yeah. Where do you shoot at the plane from? What you don't know, you can't tell Silveira. Believe me, if you get caught, these methods of interrogation are hard to resist. Uh-huh. But what if they catch you? Then there'll be no more mission. Aeronautic 417 is down. Ground crew to Area 2 Zulu. What's the score, Chief? Take a look for yourself. Avianca 628. Going in. He's coming in from over there, runway three. Oh shit, that's a long shot even for a missile launcher. We'll be okay.
Hi, buddy. I have to check the fuses. For what? There's a power loss in the conveyor belt. Okay. It's a very hot night, isn't it? They won't believe him anymore. Come on, let's move. Thank <laughs> you. 
country well is very difficult, the problems we have. But with your understanding, your trust and cooperation, and with you by my side, my dear life seems a little easier. <laughs> ah, yes, thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, a toast to future business relations. May they prove to be of mutual benefit. Your health. Thank you. Our health. Your Thank health, you, Mr. President. Here is the latest news from the capital's airport. The aircraft shot down by terrorists was carrying 185 children who were on their way home from adventure camps. Tragically, all have died in this barbaric attack. There seems no doubt at all who is responsible for the crime. Various eyewitnesses have come forward stating to have seen Carrasco and his thugs fire... What do you think of it? Have a victory. Didn't get Carrasco. If this turns people against, against him, humanity, he's as good as dead. His shoulders. Nothing, nothing important. It's only a demand for the guerrillas to surrender. Surrender? They must be crazy. Carrasco surrender? They'll never catch Why didn't you it. tell them the truth? Because I don't believe what it says. You never cease to amaze me. You have to be the only one in the country who believes in his innocence. Well, that's not quite correct, but there's an infinity of difference between trying to kill Homosa and deliberately causing a disaster. You mean you think that... Silvera. Oh, I must admit, I never guessed at Silvera. From what I know about character, I don't think I'm wrong. Carrasco's a revolutionary, but not an out-and-out -out terrorist. Ah, your arm looks much better now. Yeah, definitely better. We did it. I don't exactly feel this is the time to be talking victory. I don't particularly like to watch a burning plane and think that I might have been on it. You always find a way not to be around when it gets rough. Yes, but you always cover your back. That was you, Ramon. I'm not afraid of you. Silence, please. Yes, sir. It's the president, sir, on your private line. Thank you. Yes, Mr. President. That might not be feasible. This isn't Berlin. We have no America behind us. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. President. Sir, it's the new defense system for the refinery. Thank you. I repeat, I confirm for the central group the urgency to put into effect the third stage. Report at once. They confirm the plan, Eric. It's easy for them. D-3, 
Didn't you explain the situation? With the few men we've got, it would be suicide. I know. I know. If they completely fold up north, it's over for us too. Maybe I can do a deal. You want some? Only if you tell me where you got it. You know it's not nice to steal. Why is it nice to be hungry? I need to talk to you. Tell me. These people are about to run out of food and you can't go back anywhere to get some more. They'll be onto us in a second. If you help me, I promise my men will escort your people to the border. What do you say? If that's the promise, what's the blackmail? Things are very bad in the north. There's only one way out. Destroy the Merbella refinery. It would ground their planes, stop their tanks. The North could launch a counter-offensive, and Hermosa would be finished. Marbella is impregnable. Why? You've been trying to get at it for two years. I think I can get into the refinery now. Just long enough to put it out of commission. <laughs> what makes you think you have a better chance now that three quarters of your forces are gone? The fact that you know Marbella like the back of your hand. And you're a priest. Maria tells me you were garrison chaplain for nearly two years. So they shouldn't suspect you if you suddenly show up again. I could do it for myself, but not involve the church. Which, of course, has never been involved with this dictatorship. Well, you must do what you think is right. Accept. Why? Maybe you've changed your mind. No. Mine is made up too. I've got some old photographs here. I need to know if there's been any changes in the layout. We've got a little explosive left. I must be absolutely sure. Can't afford to waste any. That's what you use your Oxford degree for, huh? Not necessarily. One day I might just build something. Tell me about the depot. The priest visits once a week on Sunday to celebrate mass. How does he get there? By the only means available, a tanker train. He lives at a small village near the depot called College. That's where he gets on. So you're saying I'm to take his place? Yes. Now, if you can plant a charge on the last tank car, it should set off a chain reaction, one tank exploding the fumes of the next. With the train rolling through key installations, utter destruction. How do we get out? That, I think, will be impossible. Please, no, they're sacred objects. Thank you. Please, I'll collect them myself. Move back, Father! The train is moving! said it would go into the refinery. Don't worry. Only switching tracks. Hey, Fabulio! Fabulio! How are you, Father? Come on! Come and meet me! What are you doing here? How much time? About three again. minutes. It's been a long time. Come here, ride right on my train. What a pleasant surprise this is. Come aboard. Major Numez, Father Uloa. Father? Have you seen? What happened to Father Aguinaldo? Appendicitis. They had to rush him off to Puerto Silas. The Archbishop sent Father Uloa, and I'm only here to help him help him get his bearings. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Father, have you seen? 
I hope you're enjoying our, our place. I hope May I, I see your papers, please? Oh, Captain, don't worry. I can find... I have direct orders from the President, Major. Oh, that's uh, all right. Going. The radio room to double check. Oh, he's a real fanatic. He loves putting people on edge. We certainly have nothing to hide. Of course not. It's just full of hotel. He likes playing little games. I mean, who the hell is he gonna call? God? Oh, sorry. I'm sure it was well meant. My family wanted me to become a priest. Phew. Hot as Hades today, isn't it? Certainly is. I'll be glad when this trip is over. Get back to quarters for a cool bath. the line in the north. This time Carrasco had made a big mistake. He's dug his own grave. I know he's down somewhere here. He can't escape me now. Ramon. Come on, Ramon. I will get him this time. Look, he can't escape. He's trapped. He has to come out. We just have to wait for him. We may not have enough fuel, but we'll catch this bastard, even if I have to do it on foot.
nobody here. No soldiers, no militia. Townspeople? They cleared out. One visit from those sons of bitches was probably enough to scare them away for good. Sir, at least a regiment Where? over there. They must be coming down the valley to cut us off. Right. Wait over there. Julio, you should make it to the border from here. Goodbye, Marie. Good luck. Ready, Pablito? Go with you. The captain and I will be waiting for you. We'll be waiting for you. Come on, Pablito. We've got a lot of work to do if we want to stop them. Up against the whole regiment. I was looking for a more original way for us to die. Captain! There's something big going on. I can't figure it out yet. I'm getting a lot of interference. Okay, stay on it. You've got ten minutes and then join us. Yes, sir. Turn, there's the border. Carrasco's not with them. They're trapped in the ruins. They're heading straight for the minefields. Trap. General Benitez would like to talk with you. Please make your presence known to us. Show yourselves. General Benitez would like a meeting with Captain Carrasco. The general okay. wants to talk with you. President Hormoza has left the country. What, he's run away? Quit? He's left all his powers in the hands of General Gomez, who will ensure law and order. You believe that? I hope so. We may find ourselves fighting each other again one day. But let's give this moment a chance.
those militiamen in the town. Civilians! Come out! Get them back. Come on. Get them back there. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Get back in there. Get them away. Come on. Burn the church. He might talk. No. Get back. Get back. Get back. No. Carrasco used you to save his ass. Call the man together. Um <laughs>
That's not the way! Anymore. It's too late. Country again, Julio. We have a future. Uh, a future. It's for you. Father. Father. He's. in good peace Maybe they travel in black Cadillacs Eat out of general stores In the war 